Broadcasting from Tower Studio. With your anchors, Katie McCoy and Ellie Pomeroy. Bringing you the latest in Blue Gold News. This is Blue Gold News Now. Good evening, I'm Ellie Pomerlew. And I'm Katie McCoy. Coming up tonight, the BNB says goodbye to the fall season. But first, the polls have closed in the 2022 election. The results from yesterday's midterm elections are slowly rolling in. The United States Senate and the House of Representatives are still up for grabs. No party has determined, no party has been determined by the majority. Senate races from Nevada, Arizona, and Alaska are still awaiting results. And the House races scattered across the country are waiting to be called. Currently, the Democrats have 182 seats and the Republicans have 206. 218 seats is the amount needed for control of the House. In the Wisconsin Senate race, Republican incumbent Ron Johnson beat out Mandela Barnes for the U.S. Senate by 1% of the votes. In the governor race, current, current Governor Tony Evers, a Democrat, kept his seat, winning the election over Republican candidate Tim Michaels. Emergency services in the Chippewa Valley will be getting some extra hands. Voters have approved a referendum on the ballot in favor of allowing the Emergency Services Department to exceed the state levy to add three more firefighters and one more police officer to the force. According to WAU 13 News, Chippewa Falls Police Chief Matthew Kelm says he would like to thank the voters because the approval of the referendum will make the Chippewa Valley more secure. Students looking to learn more about sustainability are now able to on campus. For the first time ever, UW-Eau Claire is offering a sustainability and climate action certificate. The program kick-started this fall and seven students are currently enrolled. The classes offered in the certificate program are spread across 13 different academic departments and include biology, geography, sociology, nursing, and American Indian Studies courses, just to name a few. All UWE students can enroll in the program. Well, with winter just around the corner, uh, a BNN reporter is here to remind Blue Golds how to best gear up for the cold winter winds. BNN's Alex Rubio has the story. Thanks, Katie and Ellie. As you said, winter is coming. And for Blue Golds, that means bridge phase. For UWCE students, bridge phase refers to the freezing temperatures that can be felt as you cross the campus footbridge. Since the bridge goes over the river, the biting winds makes it one of, if not the coldest places on campus. However, Blue Golds have a resource to gear up against bridge face, and that's the campus closet. And as far as staying warm in the winter months, obviously you need layers in Wisconsin, and we've got plenty of those here, uh, including um, behind me here some winter jackets, and we are working on getting some like winter accessories, so hats, scarves, mittens, that kind of thing in stock. The campus closet is located in Brewer Hall 271 and is open Monday through Thursday from 2 to 5 p.m. All clothes are free for students, and there is no limit to what you can find. Thanks, Alex. What are your thoughts on this cold weather? After today and tomorrow, it is going to be freezing, like 30s. I, I was not ready. Um, we were out on the bridge with Alex this week, and it was cold. I, I'm not a fan of winter. I like to wear skirts. I like um, to not, I don't know, I just, the thought of scraping snow off my car sounds horrible. The thought of scraping snow off my car is truly just the worst thought in the world. However, I love winter. I love to layer my clothes and, like, bundle up. Light a good candle, lay in my bed with a blanket, but you know, the cold weather, I could really do without. No, definitely. I mean, I am excited for like the holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, that will be fun. Looking forward to that. More, more of my uh, dislike how it comes from road conditions mm. um, and just like sidewalk conditions as I'm walking across well, the footbridge. Yes, and you know, we have our last football game this weekend mm -hmm. on Friday, and it is going to be a chilly game, and there is no, there is no, Heat anywhere. Yeah. We're straight outside, so. No, it's cold. On, it's on the sidelines, it's, it's going to be brutal about down there. Um, but Marissa has a little bit more to tell us about uh, the last football game. So let's check it out. What you got for us, Marissa? Thanks, Katie and Ellie. The Blue Gold Marching Band season is coming to an end with their final performance this Saturday during the football game. It's been a long season for the BMB, says Chief Manager Ivy Laravere. They've performed at five home games, 
various places in the Chippewa Valley and at the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. In the B&B, Lara Ver works behind the scenes handling equipment and scheduling for the band. She has a unique role supporting the musicians while not actively performing herself, and says that it has changed her outlook on being a leader. However, her work with B&B is more than just a job. I have 450 friends now that I did not have um, even like You can a few catch the ago. B&B at Carson Park this Saturday for their final performance at halftime. Thanks, Marissa. The Blue Gold Marching Band will be joined by some new friends this Saturday. Here's Ellie Pomerleau with the story. The Blue Gold Marching Band has been putting in the hours even before the beginning of the school year. The full band comes in one week before school starts and we do 12 hour days. So we go 8 in the morning to 8 at night every day for that week before school starts. Since the band began practices, director Randall Dickerson says they've worked an hour and 15 minutes, four days a week to make the show come to life. But it is no easy feat. The hardest part about getting this show together is just figuring out the choreography. I have it in my mind what I'm looking for, but you never know until you get all 450 of them here. The Blue Golds making the music aren't the only ones hard at work. It takes a team behind the scenes. Ivy Lair Rivera, the chief manager of the BMB, helps with the heavy lifting. We deal with a lot of really heavy equipment. Um, a lot of it, we rely on electronics a lot for like soloist mics. Um, I'm in charge of running um, the soloist mics for every game, and that can come sometimes be a hassle. The BMB season is coming to a close with the last football game on Saturday. You know, it's always bittersweet because we, we build this show up, you know, better and better and better every week, and then once it gets to its best point, we never play it again. In honor of the last performance of the season, the BMB will welcome a special guest. The Oshkosh Band, it's a brand new band. UW Oshkosh has started a marching band this year. They wanted to bring their band up, so they are coming to this game. The bands will get a chance to connect before kickoff. Then they'll do what they do best, make music. We're actually playing a couple of tunes together. Uh, they sent us one of their arrangements, and I sent them one of our arrangements, and we're going to do that together in the stands. Earlier this season, Dickerson thought his time in the B&B was coming to a close. I started thinking about retiring, and I said, no, this is, this is gut-wrenching to have to leave this. So I'm sticking around a few more years. Don't get too emotional. The B&B isn't done yet. In January, they'll embark on a cruise around Central America to share their music with the world. In Eau Claire, Ellie Pomerleau, Blue Gold News. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like it will be an emotional day for all those graduating seniors in the band. For creative students looking for a space on campus to do crafty, fun, and artsy activities, check out the Makerspace, located in the library basement. The Makerspace is the perfect spot for students to go to for fun activities, crafts, and so much more. Made in 2019 and located in the basement of the McIntyre Library, the Makerspace has every type of craft you can think of. Since more students have been finding out and enjoying this space, there is talk about adding on to it and hopefully moving it into a larger room or building. Lily Spitzer, representative for the Makerspace, said that this is a space for everyone, and one of its benefits is helping students save money on school supplies and projects. The three main things that people come in here for is the painting, the 3D printers, and the yarn and string supplies. Other than that, we do have like soldering stuff and like actual hand tools for like woodworking and stuff, but we, we, we need to find space for it. Anyone can use the Makerspace as long as they have a student ID number that they can show the workers there in order to check in. On Monday last week, Pups covered the campus mall as a part of a popular campus event, Bark Break. In case you missed it, one of our reporters covered the event so we could share these adorable dogs in costume. Take a look at those cute dogs, Ellie. I mean, look at that oh, one in the pumpkin costume. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are just so precious. Like, what? I, I love that our campus does this. I mean, come on. I mean, people on campus love the therapy the dogs. Lion, the lion. So, like, the, the continuation mm -hmm. of the therapy mm -hmm. dogs through Bark Break, I think, is a great addition. Oh, definitely. I mean, it really just, I mean, it gets students, it puts a smile on students' face. Look at that one. They're it's just a little so lobster. cute. And the costumes was such a fun addition. Just, just very adorable overall. Definitely. Aww. Oh. It is just so cute. I can't believe it. Well, get your flapper dresses, fancy suits, and bow ties ready because Eau Claire Jazz Incorporated is throwing a great Gatsby-themed gala this Saturday in the Ojibwe Ballroom. 
BNN's Ellie Albrecht is here to give you the scoop. Thank you, Ellie and Katie. If you are a University of Eau Claire student looking for something fun to do this Saturday, specifically at 7.30 p.m., no need to look any further. The Gatsby Gala is the perfect event to attend. This gala is becoming known as the party of the year because of its quality and uniqueness. This event is actually a fundraiser for the UW Eau Claire Jazz Studio Scholarship Program, which focuses on giving students the opportunity to expand their knowledge in jazz studies. During the gala, students can enjoy non-stop non roof-blowing music, and if they need time to rest from all the dancing, then they can go around, to the, go around the corner, relax in the Dakota Ballroom, while listening to the famous singer and pianist, Kathy Herndon. Here's the artistic director for Eau Claire Jazz Incorporated with more details. So the Gatsby Gala takes place on November 12th, which is this Saturday night, uh, from 7.30 to 10.30 in Ojibwe Auditorium. So get those dresses and those suits rented and come out and be ready for a nonstop great time. Tickets for the Gatsby Gala are $20 for students and $40 for all others. They can be purchased through the UW Eau Claire website or at the Davies Center. Don't be afraid to drop in, play some games, eat some food, and just have a good time. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ellie. I've never been to the Gatsby's Gala, but it does sound like a very fun event. I would love to dress up in theme, on costume. I think it'd be a lot of fun. No, I think it'd be great. We actually went to V-Ball last year together. Um, I mean, definitely a different event, but it's always just fun mm -hmm. to dress up and see other um, people on campus all dressed up and exactly. dance. And, and I love mm -hmm. jazz music. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's, it would be a very fun event. I'm sad I can't go, but you know, no. I bet everyone will have a great time. No, yeah, well. and I'm excited to see um, how everyone dresses up and how it turns out. Absolutely. Well, now here with the upcoming weather forecast is AJ Willahusky. Today in Eau Claire, students experienced an unusually warm and cloudy November day, with temperatures ranging from the mid-40s to the upper 60s. Surrounding the cities had similar weather conditions, mostly in the mid-60s. The seven-day forecast is looking like it will cool down drastically this weekend for the last home football game. So bundle up if you're planning to attend, and these chilly temperatures will continue all through next week. And with that, thank you for watching Blue Gold News Now Weather. Thanks, AJ. Well, that's all we have for you tonight. We'll see you back here next week with your latest local and university news. Make sure to follow TV10 on Instagram and check out our Instagrams for more information on our weekly shows. I'm Ellie Palmerloo. And I'm Katie McCoy. Thank you and good night.